There is one thing I do when I think I am alone in the studio. N64 games influenced me a lot in everything I do and I'm so thankful to have grown up with these games. This is a passion project. Over the next month I'll do some retro game crafts of my favorite N64 games. Today I start with place number 10, Rayman 2, The Great Escape. We are building this enormous tower plus a tiny ray. Raymond, which I just destroyed, and this enemy, and we we're playing with them. I'm not really sure if you want to hear some good old childhood memories, but the N64 system for me is somehow magical. I remember my brother and me playing in the bedroom of our parents, N64. Then the television moved over to the guest room. And this is us, 20 years ago, secretly playing when we had homeworks to do. These are today's materials. We have a lot of wood, different types of wire and even fabrics and, well, clay. Because we are building the precipice, one of my favorite favorite levels from the well-known N64 game Rayman 2: The Great Escape. To rebuild this typical 3D graphics with the sharp edges, I'm using a lot of these building blocks and give them them a custom look by painting them. But you already guess it, we will also use a lot of cardboard, the perfect material. To build big structures quite quickly. This is a part of a rock and we will use the hot glue gun. And be careful with this one. <laughs> we will throw on some acrylic paint afterwards. But this should work perfectly as the base level of this gigantic tower from the precipice which you have to climb, climb as you play along with Raymond. I first bet Raymond 2 probably in the early 2000s when I was very young and I still remember this game with this huge variety. Each level felt differently and each level came with different challenges and different enemies. If you subscribe and hit the bell, you won't miss the future retro game crafts which I'm about to do for the N64 system. When you also grew up with the N64, please let me know which games made this time quite special for you, good old memories, which are the main titles you played and which you still have in good memory. As mentioned before, this is place number 10 of my most beloved N64 games and which is a quite personal list. Finishing the very first platform which Raymond has to climb. And we will also use some wooden sticks which we glue together to mimic this ship robo pirate feeling. Which you get when you play Raymond 2 The Great Escape. A little bit of acrylic paint, and this piece should be finished. I hope I can finish the whole tower, but I don't really think I'll make it. But, well, let's see. I just take this whole day and work on the tower and let's see how high it gets. Right now I'm working on the 3 million sub special, which is coming next week. But I also wanted to celebrate today with you that we are 3 million subs on the clay clay moon. So this is for you. 
Over the years I really enjoyed working with my modeling tools and I made some beautiful creations with these. But they kept falling apart. Plus during the pandemic the manufacturer stopped producing these and many of you were frustrated to not get them in our online store to get starting with sculpting. Around the same time we started developing our own clay claim tools. We wanted to make them more sturdy with high quality materials like different types of wood and metal. Making them a little bit more tiny to work better on the details. Okay, now they are even but also improving the tips to work more accurate with clay in general. With the help of friends, thank you so much Inga and Martin, we developed the clay claim tools. I'm so proud to finally present them to you. It was never our goal to make profit out of these. Turns out developing your own tools is way more expensive than I thought, but to give you the best tools available. So use the code tools for all to get a one time 30% off for the Ash tool series to celebrate 3 million subs. This is for you. And again, I wanted to give a big shout out to the company Bauer & Böcker in Remscheid, Germany, my hometown. They developed the different steps of the tool. I always met and gave feedback and I think I was a very difficult client to work with because ah, I was very picky on the details. <laughs> Apologies for this. In the end, we got an amazing modeling tool to work with. And yeah, thanks again. <laughs> Let's finish the next part of this Raymond level. We have different types of grid. And I'm not really sure if Raymond is able to climb on these. I, I'd say no. As they look quite bright and shiny, I will of course make them a little bit dirty and muddy, but we are fixing them with some hot glue sauce before. And make them more dirty. <laughs> the whole tower is decorated by some beautiful lamps, which we will create with clay later. And these are the wooden planks they will be fixed on. And we have some more blocks to paint. We now have some special parts which we will attach to the power. Some copper elements like this old tank with some screws I am painting on and then also some fabric stuff which Raymond, I think these are flags, pirate flags, which Raymond is using as a trampoline to jump higher with a beautiful skull from the Robo Pirates. I'll make just a quick frame for these to attach them easily to the side of the tower and we should make it a little bit more dirty. Perfect. Boing, boing. <laughs> we can attach it to the side of the tower and continue building the tower from now on, I won't show every step which I am making because 
A lot was just intuition. I started building, adding different types of materials and coloring them and giving them texture was the big game changer for the different materials. Let's add to the last details like the chimney and some wooden sticks and then we switch over to the wooden planks which are rotating themselves from the bottom to the top. I used cardboard for this, added a beautiful wooden texture and I'm also not too afraid of repetition or repetitional patterns because in the good old N64 games this is what they were working with, with tex textures and they used <laughs> them over and over again. Like these wooden planks, you can imagine that these were just a few centimeters of textures adding some beautiful wooden details and then we can find our way to the top by using some hot glue sauce. We have also some grids hidden in the path to the top where Raymond can also climb up his way. And then we have this beautiful bridge as the last part and we switch over to clay. The tower is finished and we will now work on two things. Number one, the decorational parts of the tower, the precipice from Raymond to the Great Escape, the lanterns which are now in the oven and now we are creating this iconic cage. I think these inside, these poor creatures are called lumps. Is that true? Uh, I'm not really sure about that. And well, in the very first Raymond title, the 2D one, um, they could be seen. You could see their eyes behind um, these cage bars. <laughs> And I always felt sorry for them, but in the 3D version, Raymond 2, they could not be seen. Which is a pity. These are all the clay parts after oven hardening. And now let's start the coloring process. Again, guys, subscribe and hit the bell to don't miss future N64 retro craft. <laughs> this is the cage on the chain and we have some barrels which are rolling down somehow reminded me of Donkey Kong the very very first one fighting Mario and we are placing the lanterns starting at the bottom slowly working our way up maybe we stick in another piece of wood the rods, the bars, where the lanterns are also hanging on. The cage is missing and then we call it a tower, a <laughs> finished tower. The precipice from Raymond to the Great Escape. And now let's create the main character of today's video, which is Raymond. This iconic character. Maybe you remember that I actually created him before. It is my third attempt in creating Raymond and also the tiniest version. The first Raymond years and years ago I was searching for him in my 1000 subscriber special <laughs> in the attic from my parents. Then I created a framed artwork from the 2D game, the very first Raymond, which is hanging on my wall right now. And then we have this guy. The shoes are finished, all the different body parts are connected by a very thin wire and hopefully it looks like arms and legs are missing, but hands and feet are floating in the air. 
somehow holding the torso right in the middle. Stick the hands onto the wire and also the feet into the torso. Ah, he looks a bit thick. We will change this in a minute. Last working step is the head. We have the hair and we are building up from there with the open mouth, two tiny balls for the eyes and the big nose. Some eyelids and the characteristic big nose and it's Raymond. The iris will be painted after oven hardening and we bring in the wire as well. Stick it into the torso. Yeah, looks better. But we are ready to go into the oven and meanwhile we can continue and working on today's enemy, which is the Robo... what was he called? Something with 400. Let me Google this quickly. Ah, the henchman. I knew it. These are the Pirates Robot Invasion Force. Totally devoted to Admiral Razorbeard, they enforce a reign of terror by capturing anyone unlucky enough to cross their paths. There exist several different models, yeah, I know this, different types. I am creating the one with the pistol arm and he is awaiting Raymond on the top of our level, which we are creating today. Maybe emphasizing the breast muscles a little bit and then we are creating the face. This robo face, which actually looks more like a skull, a pierced skull with some neon green in the eye. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Let's place him onto the torso. After oven hardening we will paint in some more details and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Raymond! Last working step, the iris. Finished. You can change the posture over the wire. I really like this. Now for the pirate, Robo Pirate, the Enchman, we have a little more to do. These belt buckles are now shoe buckles and the torso is glued together with the lower part of the body. Then we take some pens. We have the iris, maybe making the gaps a little bit darker. And then some golden pen for beautiful details. And now let's play. Ah! number 10 Raymond 2 the great escape this is my retro game craft series and now I'm really curious which games you used to play like 10 years ago write them down in the comments I'm so curious to read them have an amazing weekend the 3 million sub special is around the corner <laughs> and take good care bye